Hey there, Andy Marcoux from CoachmansDelight.com, and today I am going to play with a turpentine. Okay, really simple, fun exercise. I've got just four cones set up in a straight line, just absolutely straight. Kathy is out there with Pila. She's going to go ahead and drive this exercise a couple of times. I decided to do this today because, well, we have the dressage arena all nicely groomed up, so we're going to be able to really look at the carriage tracks. Uh, we were working on the Zen Circle exercise before. You can sort of see the circle from that fun exercise. So here we go. Here's Kathy's first go through that serpentine, and let's have a look and see how that goes. And that's sort of what I expected. All right. <laughs> okay, reason I have the crazy ears on is because that way Kathy can hear what the heck I'm saying. All right, that was perfect. And that was not scripted, by the way. You just went through that whole serpentine and you, and you did, because I said the word serpentine, you drove it like a serpentine in a dressage test. Big loop-de-doop-de-doos. Now, if this were on a cones course, which we don't see these on cones courses as much as we used to, but you know that would take a whole bunch of time to do all of those loop-de-doops, right? And so the way you would minimize that would be by minimizing the length of the loops that you do in between each set of cones, right? So you end up driving shallower turns. Okay, so let's go ahead, um, go all the way back to the, around the arena. I don't care, you can change through the serpentine again and drive the exact same exercise, but let's Shallow. do it with shallower loops and let's see what we lay down for carriage tracks. And then I'm going to stop and I'll look at the carriage tracks. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we get. Much better. Yeah, much, much, much better. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the carriage tracks. A little better view here. And now we can see really nice carriage tracks laid down that are much closer to the center line that the cones move along. Okay, so we have really a perfect example of where those carriage tracks should be laid. Here are the tracks approaching cone number one. And what we see is that this first apex of this first turn the track actually apexes way the heck back here. So here's the first cone. Here's the actual apex of the turn. I'm going to draw a line across it. You see where I drew that line? Her carriage is already turning across the ring towards the other cone. All right. In other words, she didn't wait to make the turn right here next to the cone. And that's the, that's the key to a well-driven serpentine, is that you're always trying to apex before the cone. You're always trying to top that turn out right before you get by the cone so that when you get in between the cones, you're actually starting to do some input for the next cone and just here with the lighting the way it is you can even see her apex of her turn just a little bit better behind me you can see before she gets to that cone she's already in that left turn to get to the third cone in the lineup so with that in mind Kathy let's just drive this a couple or three more times
So eyes now go up to cone number three because you're already done with cone number one. And eyes should be on cone number four. Good. And then you can track right if you want there. Don't, yeah. But let's keep trying to make minimize the amount of space that you go away from the middle line of the serpentine. Now, that's it. And now with the turn. And now with the turn. Good. And see, what is it going to take me to get that horse to stay as close to that straight line as I can? Good. And new outside rein. Nice. And new outside rein. Good. Okay, so if we look at the end of the exercise and compare that to the beginning of the exercise, if you look at those carriage tracks behind me, Boy, they get pretty sloppy, don't they? You know, they're just kind of, there's a wide variety of tracks over here. Sorry. Um, but we can look a little further back in the exercise, more towards the beginning. And if I get the angle just right, we can see much cleaner sets of carriage tracks here. Okay, there's some extra tracks from the previous exercise we were doing, so let's go back to cone number two and as I walk we can see how things really start to neaten up on the way back to cone number one so that's really good so Kathy what you're gonna do is you're gonna play this exact same game except we're gonna take it from the other direction so Hands together, steady hands, yes. A little bit better, and you can turn left after this cone. A little bit better, but I sure still saw quite a bit of kind of jumping from side to side on Pila's part, right? Really smooth, really smooth, really smooth. Very nice with the eyes, very nice, and you can turn left again much better. You feel how that whole thing just fell together in front of you a lot better? Really smooth, really steady hands. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. And then on this one, now that you're getting some smoothness and you're really starting to hone in on the exercise, I want you to do the exercise thinking about the outside rein. All right? so that we just get nice smooth handoffs from the inside to the outside rein. Keep her moving forward. Nice smooth handoff here. Nice smooth handoff there. Nice smooth handoff here. Really smooth. Eyes go way down the, the figure. Really smooth handoff to the new outside rein. Really smooth handoff to the new outside rein. Yeah, yeah. And look at how tight your carriage tracks are getting behind you. All right, so let's take a look at the carriage tracks Kathy just laid down here. And when she was really focused on that outside rein, but really focused ahead, look at how tight the tracks become now. Whereas when I was first doing it in the first direction, this set of car carriage tracks, wow, they're kind of all over the place, right? But second ex set of the exercise we change direction now we're coming from the serpentine from the far end of the ring back towards us and kathy got really good about putting her eyes much further ahead and also she started thinking about you know really using that outside rein doing a nice careful handoff from one outside rein to the other and look at how tight these this grouping gets really really beautiful consistent steady track all right, well, our once nicely groomed arena now has carriage tracks all over it. Well, not all over it, but, you know, we've got the two exercises that we've been working on today, the Zen Circle and the uh, Serpentine with lots of tracks on it. Uh, serpentine is a fun little exercise that, you know, you can find four cones. Pretty much anybody can adopt four cones from just about anywhere, right? Uh, 
you know, it's one exercise of a lot of different exercises that you can do with cones. And speaking of that, not coincidentally, uh, next week on Wednesday night, Wednesday, I believe it's November 8th at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, uh, that would be 8 Central, 7 Mountain, 6 Pacific. Uh, I'm going to do a whole class just on cones. Uh, it's called Cones Driving Strategies. And I'm going to talk, well, about different exercises that you can do with the cones. But then also we'll talk about, uh, you know, some larger strategies like walking your cones courses, making your plans on how to approach different sets and everything like that. You know, with whatever exercises that I give in the class, of course I'm going to give you the lesson plan that goes along with that that you can download for free uh, so for $25 you're gonna get a couple of lesson plans you're going to get an article on speed modulation for cones which is a really important uh, facet of driving cones well and uh, you'll be able to of course download the video after the class uh, so even if you don't show up for the live class well then you're all set you just download the class afterwards and watch it at your own speed you don't get to ask questions like everybody does during the live class but you know hey that's that's your your call on that uh, so go over to my website coachmansdelight.com and then just type in backslash online classes uh, and it, that'll take you to the page that'll bring you to the uh, upcoming class on cones uh, that's it I think that I'm gonna go home and uh, you know, maybe work on that class a little bit more. Take care.